setting was a country house where a gas barbecue was held and afterwards informal drinks. This was the first day which was a technical rehearsal. Scaffolding was erected which would later be used for an establishing shot and also to provide a platform for the giant 6000 watt HMI light which was one of many of the lights on the set. An artificial garden was created which would be removed some two days later. A marquee was erected to provide an alternative venue in case of rain. Inside the house the sound recordist was checking some of the many audio-visual connections. Tracking was laid and the camera positioned on the dolly ready for a trial run. Later, the actors and actresses were brought in and discussed the shot with the director. Another trial run, but this time with most of the cast. Several takes were required before the director was happy with the shot. Outside, the equipment was made ready, including the moviola, which is another type of dolly. It would run along a track. The track is here being laid by Tex, who was the gripsman for the film. His job was to install, maintain and operate various pieces of kit, such as this. The lights were fitted with gels to give the appearance of a summer's day. The moviola was lifted onto the track and the camera fitted. The cast was in position, sound was ready and all that was needed was a final word between the director, the cameraman and the grips. And everything was set for action. Sitting next to the cameraman is the focus puller. It is his job to turn the focus ring to predetermined positions. The director views the scene and then calls for a retake. The gentleman sitting down in the t-shirt is standing in for the guest celebrity who would not be on the set until the following day. The equipment being used was Petercam SP which is current broadcast quality. For the next shot further equipment was required so Tex supplied a type of steel beam which was fitted with a camera mount at one end and counterbalance weights at the other end. This turned out to be a very useful piece of kit. The cast were moved into another position and once again the moviola was brought into play. This equipment has two wheel or four wheel steer. Although normally used on the studio floor, it proved to be indispensable. Yeah. 
the, as the dolly moves, the platform can be lowered or raised pneumatically. This is now day two, and preparations are well underway, including touching up the paint on the gas bottles. No chance. The crew were busy inside, installing lights and monitoring equipment. Final checks and adjustments were made to the camera. Doors were sealed and wiring connections made. Oh yeah. That looks right. a job, eh? Windows were sealed to keep out daylight. The party was supposed to be a night scene. The auto queue had arrived and everything was set for the first take. It was now time to take some cutaways, which would be inserted into the main scene. Action. <laughs> here, here. Can you just give it a data to Chris's I'm sorry. Really? It does, actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not to lose that one, You can say that again. And being able to spread the payments over 12 months has been a godsend. I don't know who was the most pleased. Me or my bank manager. <laughs> Outside, the wind had got up, which was creating a few problems. But it was a case of carry on regardless. The moviola was made ready. It uses an inbuilt compressor for the pneumatic. Soon, time for action. Everything went quite smoothly in spite of the wind. are not always quite what they seem. This bottle of moe, for example, it actually contains ginger ale. 
Note here how the clapperboard is flagging the camera lens to keep out sunlight. Next, it was all changed, ready for the next scene. Action! Any of that left, darling? Here, the camera assistant taps the cameraman's shoulder to tell him to start panning. Just a few cutaways and then it would soon be time to go up onto the scaffold to film the wide establishing shot of the barbecue. The action was then transferred indoors for some further shots. <laughs> The HMI light was de-rigged and then re-rigged to shine through the windows to give a daylight effect. The interior scenes were designed to extol the virtues of Calagas within the home. <laughs> Especially it feels to me, apart from the instant hot water at just the right temperature, how a gas central heating system can be installed in your home is really something. Whether it be a small family house, a residential caravan, a home like this, or, well, you name it, Caligas can heat it superbly. Of course, you can cook on Cali. They supply a wide range of hogs, cookers, and ovens. Mmm, that smells really good for them. Simply get in touch with Caligas once again, or call them on their free phone number. I can assure you... These would be the final scenes of the night, but it would be well past midnight before the crew had finished and dismantled the equipment. They then had a further five days filming elsewhere to complete the commercial. Well, there's a happy group of Caligas customers, clearly pleased that they've made the wise decision and all content in the knowledge that whatever our British winters might throw at them, they'll be cosy and warm. And so could you be. Simply get in touch with Cala once again, or call them on their free phone number. I can assure you, it'll be a wise decision.